Welcome to this overview of InfoPlus. In a web browser, enter your company's URL for InfoPlus. Then log in with your username, which is your email address, and your password. The first place you arrive in InfoPlus is the dashboard. This is your home page of InfoPlus and it is completely customizable. You'll see notifications here. You can create favorite applications and favorite records as well as metrics. Anytime you see a gear icon, it means you can modify that section of the screen. On the left are tabs that are groups of functionality. The account management tab lets you manage orders, customers, and vendors. The Warehouse Operations tab lets you set up your warehouse, receive goods into the warehouse, and fulfill and ship orders. Reports gives you access to system reports as well as reports that you've created. And Mobile Floor Apps provide access to specific InfoPlus applications that you can use on the warehouse floor from a tablet or iPad, such as scanning work tickets. Let's take a look at one of these tabs. We'll go to the Warehouse Operations tab within a tab are apps. Let's take a look at the Fulfillment app. Within each app are tables, processes, and reports. The tables contain the data relevant to the app, processes allow you to perform actions on the data, and reports provide documentation relevant to the app. In the top left you'll notice a menu button which gives you access to those tabs as well as other functionality in InfoPlus and the home button will always take you back to the dashboard. You can see now it shows on the right here that I've been to one of the recent applications. Tables are a key piece of InfoPlus so let's take a look at one of the tables. We'll look at the table showing all of our orders. I'll get to that table through the account management tab, the order management app, and here is the order table. This is a list of all of the orders in InfoPlus for your company. You can search for orders by keyword text at the top here. If I type in Jones and press enter, I'll see all orders where the word Jones was found anywhere in the order. If you want to clear that out, actually to clear out a search, the easiest thing to do is just click on the breadcrumb at the top here. The very last step of the breadcrumb will take you back to that order table in its original state. If you want to open an order to review it, simply click on it. Here are the order details for order number 17. Anytime you see this star, that allows you to add that record or that application to the uh, favorites on your dashboard. So I'll click that and we'll see what that looks like on the dashboard a little later. The Actions button in a record provides actions specific to the type of record that you're in. Um, however, the ones at the top are pretty consistent across all records in InfoPlus. To return back to the order table, you can click the Back button in your browser, but again, you can also click on the breadcrumb. Within a table, you can also access some of the actions we just saw by resting your mouse on a record and clicking the double arrows at the end of the record. In addition to searching by keyword in this table, you can also search by column criteria. For example, if I only wanted to see processed orders. You can also add column criteria by clicking this button at the end of the area. And if I also wanted to be able to search by carrier, I could add that as criteria for my searching. That didn't add a column to my table, just simply made search criteria. If you did want to add or remove any columns, you click the Columns button. All the checked columns are the ones that are currently displaying, and these are the other columns that are available to you, so you could add and remove columns accordingly. A filter is a saved search, so after you perform a search, you can click the Filters button and save it, and it will be available for you for quick access the next time you want to search by that same criteria in this drop-down menu. And here is the Actions button again, um, provides a couple different options such as some bulk options. You could bulk load orders through this Actions button. Notice the quick search area at the top of the screen. You could type keywords here and it would search all of InfoPlus. Also be aware of the Help button in InfoPlus. This allows you to submit a ticket or search our knowledge base. You can type a keyword here and you'll get specific tutorials about the keyword you typed in. I'll return to the dashboard by clicking the Home button. Remember when I made the Order 17 record a favorite? It now appears here for quick access to that content.
Speaking of quick access, from anywhere in InfoPlus, if you press the period on your keyboard, the Quick Actions pop-up appears, and this gives you quick access to tables, processes, and reports all throughout InfoPlus. You can scroll through the list or just start typing and jump directly to where it is you want to go. And that was a quick overview of InfoPlus. Be sure to check out the Knowledge Base for more information on using InfoPlus.